This should be ready. Does that beat it up? Oh, yeah. That should work fine. That'll be a good squishy squishy. Now I gotta do is put some stuff on the water jackets. And on we go. Let's get this back on. Nice healthy bead. Probably too much. A little bit around the water jackets. I got most the majority of debris out of here. Anything in there that's gonna affect anything. I glued these last night and I left them sit all night. All night. So now the only thing I need to do yet is I'm gonna take some WD-40 and put on here yet to keep the gasket, because the gasket has to stay high. You can see here, this is the problem. The gasket, when you tighten the intake, the gasket is proceeding, it's being pulled down. And this we can't have. So I'm gonna make a galleon attempt to lube up the intake that'll hopefully, then the gasket won't have a tendency to want to slide. It'll pretty much like stay there. It works with carburetor gaskets. Just trying to get this a little bit of slippage is all. I know, this sounds, it looks corny. I get it. I really do. But, I'm desperate. I've had these gaskets on off this motor, I don't know how many times, and all she does is just keeps walking. So I'm thinking maybe. Now remember, when we put it on, we need to keep it that way. When it is mounted. And then we'll have to start these bolts and just tweak them first to keep it that way. And then we'll pull it down. Oh, yeah. So one thing that's awesome with the studs. Oh. What do we look like? What do we look like? I think that's... I don't think we're going to do any better than that. You take a peek here. Oh, yeah. I I'm liking all of that. Looks good. Nope. Then we'll start getting some of the hardware on it and get her back together. These are special washers that came with this intake. They're a lot thicker, but they're small. Stainless lock washers. And remember, be careful, you have open holes. That could turn out very, very bad.
Pretty neat, huh? Look how shiny they get. That's brass for you. I love using brass and motors where I can use it. Valve covers, intake, and exhaust. Love it. I'm sure everybody's going to say, You can't tighten them this way. you got to tighten them in sequence. I know this. But remember, I need to keep this intake over there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to snug this side down first. We're not going to put enough pressure on to kill them. Just enough to get this side seated first to a point. Okay, we have to watch in here. And you notice where my hand is. I'm not really putting any torque on anything. What I'm doing here, this is really nothing. But this is what I have to do to keep my intake. It's spot on. It's perfect right now. Let's look at the other side. It's dead on. Finally, I got this intake on perfect. I'll be. Okay, I'm going to start the rest of these bolts and we'll get back to torquing. There's definitely a torque sequence for this. And yes, I do know this. But this is what I'll do. I'll just keep going around in a circle. Getting all the gasket play out first. Put a little wrench. Because remember, my big thing is making sure these cylinder ports stay even. Making sure the gaskets stay where the gaskets are supposed to go. And then, okay, he said, as you can see, no torque. We're actually going to use, I want to start this uh, torque wrench. I mean, do we have a long ways to go here? Now we're doing it the way we're supposed to be doing it. We have a ways to go yet, believe me. Okay. I'm going to reset the torque wrench. Make another round, and we're going to button this up for the night because I need gaskets. We'll go over setting the distributor back in, uh, but that's going to be a little while. I'll bring these in because I need to take the whole front of this motor apart. I got to take the whole front of this motor apart. I've got leaks. I want to beautify. I want to get some paint, do some changes. So, it's going to be a little bit. Thanks for watching. Wrenching Rick's Garage without my hat on. I don't know where it got to. We're trying to get 
things ready for spring, but black sheep's got to be like right in the front, but got to try to get casinos got to be going again. It's just the way it is. Dual quads of madness. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Have a good day.